Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we pretty much finished up exploring Albion. Basically, the whole map is explored, except for a couple of pretty small spots that I'm almost certain don't include a port or anything big like that. So, this episode, I'm going to head to the Reach. We've got some business there, a bunch of quest things. And uh, right before I go to the Reach, though, I want to go back to the Mausoleum, which is where I'm at right now, because somebody in the comments told me that... Remember the... Uh, let's just go look at it. Remember this? Descend into the vaults to search for the Dismal Chamberlain? Remember I did that and it basically told me I can't really do anything? I can't find anything down in the vaults? Unless I had a, a cold heart around my heart... A cold hand around my heart? Or something like that? I interpreted that as you have to have like the cold uh, soul status. Which I didn't have at the time. But somebody told me it just means you have to have 50 or more terror, which I do. I have 70%, and I have the Immaculate Souls to make that go away right here. So let's do this and then get rid of my terror. Assuming I haven't misinterpreted something. Ooh. Yeah, this is new. Like, this is, this is all I could do before. If you return with bright eyes and a cold hand around your heart, you will find that which you seek. So that would be this. A gorgeously swollen moon hangs in the sky above. After the stale heat of the crypt, the cool air is a blessed relief. The ceiling vanishes. The walls part like the curtains of a stage. A path of silver light unfurls from the moon above. A solemn procession marches down the moonlight road towards you. Most of the white-robed figures are bare-handed, but one thrusts a blade of black iron overhead. Another reverentially holds up a stone goblet. For those who have seen things both wondrous and terrible, says the cupbearer, laying the cup carefully at your feet, choose to live beneath the light and mourn. Then she is gone. The vault closes back around you, more oppressive than ever. You are slipping further and further into a world that no longer exists. Yeah, what the hell is that? White-robed figures, barehanded. Hmm. An ichor-stained journal. The visions sweep away like dust before a roaring wind leaving you back in the mausoleum depths. You reacquaint yourself with the scab-modeled walls, the stained floor. A leather-bound book is sitting carefully propped up only a few feet from you. Examine the book. How did you miss this before? From the name scrawled on the inlay in erratic handwriting, it appears to be the Dismal Chamberlain's journal. The rest is written in code. You'll have to examine it when you're aboard the engine. With nothing else demanding your attention in the vault, you begin the long, torturous journey back up thousands of narrow steps to the nave. Gather three sky stories to begin translating the journal's code. Gather three sky stories and you will work on translating the code while you travel. I think what that means is that it'll just pop up while you're traveling, because I don't have any way to really activate it, right? Yeah, okay. Well, let's do all the good stuff here. Port report, contemplate the dead sun, get the tear up all the way. Doesn't matter, because it's all going away. Memorial. Private viewing. And gone. <laughs> it feels so satisfying. And there's even... There's something else. Um, attending a funeral. I know that reduces my terror, but did it, did it do anything else as well? Meh, that one didn't do anything else. Oh wait, uh, yeah, actually I gained favor. Hmm, do I have enough favor to do anything special? Can I try to speak with the Luminous Cardinal? Sure, failure. I probably should have done that before I got rid of terror. Eh, 15's fine. I don't need to worry about that. 
we're going back to the Reach. It's easy to lose terror there. We really have to worry about it in Eleutheria the most. Oh, another thing somebody told me, by the way, is that at one point I was coming across something that I thought was the Storm That Speaks. But they said that they were pretty sure it was the Well of the Wolf, which is the thing I need to find to continue the Rebentan Devil's Quest. So I think the Well of the Wolf is somewhere in Albion. I don't know if it just shows up randomly. Like the Storm That Speaks, which seems to show, show up kind of randomly. I don't see any horrors on the map that I can't identify. I know what all of them are. So none of the horrors are either the Storm That Speaks or the Well of the Wolf. I mean, that's Avid Horizon. That's the Dead Sun. That's Stonehenge. That's the Clockwork Sun. And that's, yeah, that's it. There's no ghastly things listed, so I don't actually know where it would be. And it might not be in any one particular place. It might just be a random occurrence. But I'm all suited up to go to the Reach, so let's do that. I'll come back to Albion to try to find the well later. Ah, oh, here we go. I've just barely traveled for the mausoleum, and the Chamberlain's Journal thing has appeared. The journal is a frustrating document, written in both terrible handwriting and a near impenetrable code. Much of what you can painstakingly decipher is meaningless without context. Context? Context. Scattered phrases like, Chimeric moonlight, a golden day, and death in amber. Most of all, the same phrase again and again, the martyr king's cup. You study it through the night. It seems to offer no clue to the Chamberlain's whereabouts, but you feel on the verge of some other tantalizing realization. A partial translation is achieved. You can only translate fragments of the journal, mostly through trial and error. It takes hours. From the scraps you can decipher, you gather that the central subject is something called the Martyr King's Cup, which reputedly holds the key to immortality. Why one of the Deathless would need such an object, you couldn't speculate. The Chamberlain was apparently obsessed with the cup. He declares a total commitment to finding it, even if it means abandoning his prestigious role in the mausoleum. Hmm. Return to the mausoleum and inform them of the Dismal Chamberlain's dismal fate. <laughs> okay, well, let's turn this right around. Inform the engraved mourner of the Chamberlain's fate. He became a quester for the Martyr King's Cup and has abandoned his role at the mausoleum. The mourner's tone is grim. Yes, we knew. The Chamberlain was always preoccupied by the deepest faults. Too many visitors have gone down there and come back with strange ideas in their heads. He hands you a sheaf of documents. Maps from his office, with his notes. They may, may prove useful. I'm giving them to you because the alternative is to burn them. As you turn to leave, he raises a polished finger. Before you go, a warning. Fortunately for you, you have not chosen to seek the cup. Or not been chosen to seek the cup. But you should ensure that the journal is destroyed. It can only lead others astray. Unlicensed chart. A lot of experience, which is irrelevant for me. Savage secret. So I think that's the end of the quest. At the Albion Transit Relay. Let's go through customs. 100% chance of success. Nice. First class, reduce, <laughs> reduce our terror. Ooh, trans beans on my desk and she just bumped the mic real hard. Oh, let me get a video of this. Hey, hey baby. Yeah. We are in the reach now. So we have at least the prospect to turn it up Port Prosper. Not sure if there's other things as well. 
The smuggling prospect? Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, shit. A shift in fortunes. The Windward Company has scored several recent victories against the Tacades and regained their foothold in New Winchester. Shit. Much to the parsimonious chairman's relief, they have quit the local offices in Port Prosper and departed for their old home where they mean to reoccupy Company House. Learn more. You hear a dozen versions of events before the day is out. A number of gleaming new dreadnoughts arrived through the transit relay from London to reinforce the company's fleet before they advanced on New Winchester. Now, stovepipes and tackadies must once more share the town, much to the Colonial Assembly's perturbation. The balance of power in the Reach has returned to its traditional state of simmering stalemate. This change will affect encounters, discoveries, bargains, and prospects. For example, the renewed conflict means wrecks are more common and new homesteads fewer. Hmm. So, I'm wondering if anything in particular triggered this. Or if perhaps the fortune of the Tacities just decays over time, maybe? Hmm. Well, I guess I need to start helping him again. All right, this is going to be good. This is going to be very lucrative. About 2,000 profit. Just directly. Plus an extra another thousand. And reputation with the smugglers, a begetter of ghosts, and three salon stewed gossip. Your illicit literature is avidly received in Port Prosper. The local paper puffs and tuts about the sudden influx of gentlemen's relish, even as servants from well-heeled families crowd your locomotive, offering bulging purses for paper-wrapped samples of your cargo. The handmaid of a certain prim dowager purchases several of the most scandalous volumes, while giving you a wicked wink. Okay, yeah, anything else to do here? Might be able to get a port report, probably not. Hmm, factory chore. Yeah, let's spend some time with the East Enders. The workers lurk in the shadows. This will always increase your eastward reputation. Let's do that then. And I know we've done that before. Offer transport to settlers. <laughs> I feel like that's very cursed. I probably already have one on board. I don't. Okay, well, you're not going to like my transportation. Hope they didn't expect to get there before they died. Titania. What do the bleak industrialists want me to do again? Ah, oh, right. I need to go to the Blue Kingdom. Right. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in particular to do here. First stop, I think, is going to be Kurilin. We have at least two things to do there. One involving the Incognito Princess. The other one, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, uh, we have a Royal Horological Office appointment there to fix, aka sabotage a clock. But I hear a lot of fighting over here, and I want to get involved. Let's help the Tackities out. Hey there! Fire at the light. Did I blow him up? Oh, no.
There we go. I hear more fighting still. Uh, navigation suite. Unlicensed chart. Navigation suite. Unlicensed chart. I know from experience, though, the sounds of fighting carry for a long time. They could be pretty far in this direction. And I'm supposed to be heading towards Kurillin. Ah, here we go. Ah, two tackities. Well, three now, because me. Feels good backing up my buddies. Whoa. Uh, oh, this is the settler that we just got on board. A change of heart. The settler emerges from his cabin, his suitcase clutched in his hands. I've had time to think, and I have to admit it. I can't do it. I don't want to go. But it's so warm here, and everyone's been so kind. Might I stay on, or, or at least take me back to Port Prosper? His smile is brittle. Yeah, come on board. I've got nine out of ten people. He moves as though to hug you, but then thinks better of it and salutes instead. You won't regret it. Fetch me a mop, a bucket. Point me in the direction of grime. I'll do you proud. And I'll never have to go outside again. You send him to his bunk with a hot cocoa and several thick manuals on locomotive safety procedures. Okay, that counts as delivering a settler. Okay. What did they just shoot at? Raid the hold. Solid crate. Ministry stamp permit. Did you shoot something or are you just trigger happy? I think they're just trigger happy or they just really didn't like that rock. At Kirillin. Overgrown shrine. Let's contemplate it. That should reduce my tear. Yep. Probably a port report to get. I think I gotta go into the foyer. Yeah, port report. Investigate the clocks. Sabotage. 100% chance of success. Hee hee hee. Lost two strength of the sun. New total, zero. And three supplies. Oops. I want again. What do I need for this again? Affiliation establishment five. Oh. Yeah, I've only got three establishment. There's no way to get more right now. Do I have anything to do with the devil S? Oh, what do I need for this? I can only do this once. Oh, right. A bunch of penances. Like every penance. I wonder what that would do exactly. And apparently it would give you the Devil S's particular appreciation. Okay, how do I do the thing? How do I do the thing with the Incognito Princess? Do I need to talk to them? Hmm. Yeah, it says in the journal... The princess seeks something borrowed from the devils at Kirillin. You'll need three Chorister B souls to acquire it. Right, I forgot about that part. I have no idea how to acquire Chorister B souls. So I'm thinking maybe let's try to appease the presiding deviless. Let's try it. Like for that one thing, we needed to get, I think, one of every type of enlightenment pretty much. So let's see if we can do that. 100% chance of success for this one. Heck, why not get a couple? They're free. Unlimited penance. Three sounds good. That was a gaslight terrace. Ritual of purification for penance deprivation. That allows us to go into the bell garden. Ah, right. 24% <laughs> chance of success. Oh boy. Oh, nice. Very lucky. Should 
checkerboard garden. Shift of perspective. 100%. Yes. Let's also get a couple of that, just for the fun of it. Stunted Grove, Penance Ordeal, that's iron, right? Yes. 52, not bad. Nice. Now, the last couple I don't think I can get because my soul isn't cold or anything like that. Yeah, I don't have a stained soul. I don't even know how to... Like, if you wanted to be stained or cold, how do you even get that? Clear, flickering, stained. I have no idea. Maybe Caduceus? Maybe Caduceus. The place I've never really got to properly explore, they required me to have a completely clear soul to enter. But maybe you need a clear soul to enter, but you can leave with a dirty soul, so to speak. Yeah, so is that enough to impress the presiding deviless? I don't think so. They probably need the others. They do, don't they? Indulgence, inescapable truth, and endurance. Yeah, they require all the other three ones. What does purchase and indulgence do? Costs a jumble of undistinguished souls. Penance, indulgence. Oh. Oh, it's like a shortcut to getting one of the harder to get things. One of the things that would require my soul to be in a certain state, right? She copies out the writ of indulgence on calf skin and dabs its corners with oil. Afterwards, she attaches her own signature and the seal of the presiding authority of Carillon. It's not quite the same as pen served yourself, she admits, but it may be used in many of the same situations. If it proves not to meet with your requirements, then simply remember that you should not have been allowed to buy it in the first place. <laughs> Fair enough. But I can only buy indulgence. That's it. Yeah, so I still need endurance and an inescapable truth. We've arrived at Lustrum. We're pretty high on tear. 71%. Let's do a celebration. The mountain sings. Join. Ooh. Reduced by 10%. Oh, Sweet Jane's Counting House? I think we can get a moment of inspiration, yes. Somebody reminded me of that in the comments. Which I need. Takes 12 and I have 51 charred stovepipe nameplates. Definitely let's do that. Um, wow, I'm actually already up to 7 moments of inspiration. I think I'm probably good on that now. But is there anything else I want? I think I'm kind of low on otherworldly artifacts. It's only going to take three of my gratitude. Now I've got seven of that. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good now. I guess I'll save the rest of it in case I need something. Nah. Let's just spend it all now. Another moment of inspiration. They're inspired. And another moment of inspiration. Another otherworldly artifact. New total six. Ministry stamp permit. That's my ninth one. I've got three left. Another otherworldly artifact. Yeah, there we go. Man, I love Sweet Chain. <laughs> Mm, right, this is one of the quests I came here for. Drop off a passenger for the New Street line. Remember, I, I picked him up. Or, where did I pick him up exactly? They were escaping browsers on Workworld, but I didn't pick them up from there. Uh, I think it was Worldberry Juxtamare. And they wanted to go to Lustrum. It'll be easy for them to vanish in the hubbub and tumult of Lustrum. You know, I have one Workworlder saved. Nice. Lustrum does not offer an easy life, but it does offer an escape from the law. Your work world escapee will ostensibly be brought into work for one of the more affluent prospectors. The prospector has won their riches not through mining, but through the philanthropist's friendship. 
Uh, now they pay their debt by providing for those the new street line sends their way. That's good. Yeah, I wonder what my next quest will be. I hope it's not just, like, infinitely renewable, bring people to place and get paid a little bit. Like, I hope it leads to something bigger. Let's go to Murgatroyd's shop, drink some tea. Ignore the familiar looking plant in the corner. Taste of home, Empress's flavor. You know, let's give Mr. Pennies some more hours. They need him. I've got plenty. I wonder if anything happens if you just keep giving him that. Eventually opens up something new or something. Made my way to London. Not London proper just yet, but I'm at the Victory Hall. Just turned in my port reports to the Tackities. And you know what I'm going to do a bunch of? Trade favor to affect the balance of power in the Reach. I might be able to, in just a couple minutes, completely ruin the stovepipes and help out the Tackities because it costs five and I have 109 gratitude. <laughs> so I can do this 20, 21 times? That should do it. Um, yeah, the stovepipes have definitely gained fortune. They're now mixed, about 49.50. Not sure if the Tackities lost fortune. But Stovepipes definitely gained it. And my reputation with the Tackities is still very, 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 very good. Well, let's just keep doing that until the Stovepipes are at, like, zero. They're at nine now. Desperate. Four. Desperate. And zero. Desperate. And the Tackities are thriving. And I still have 50 gratitude left. Apparently there's a downed locomotive on Hybris. Tackities' engine's gone down in the fungal jungle. Fungal jungle. Step up to the call. I think we've done this before, but like, I don't think I ever went there. To the location that I was supposed to go. I don't know. I just have the vaguest memory of it. It was a long time ago. So am I going to get back to New Winchester and like, it's just going to be Tackities again? Because <laughs> I just totally messed with the balance of power. A lot. In one exact moment. Rather than over a bunch of time, like they probably expect you to do. Before, did I say I was at London? Or not at London proper, but almost there? Wow, I'm still in Albion mode. Well, I'm at... New Winchester, the actual New Winchester. Prepared my hole, put some stuff in the bank. I took a prospect to deliver five Bronzewood to Port Avon, where we need to go for a quest anyway. And also let's listen to the will of the people, so I can fail at passing another law at Parliament. Alright, on the way to Port Avon. At Port Avon. Let's finish out the prospect. 1400. Gain two supplies. Nice. Oh, they have ministry approved literature. I still kind of desperately need that. I'm just going to take all of that right now. Let's try to lose some of this terror. Quiet day in Port Avon. Uh, oh. Right, two fuel for 20 sovereigns. I don't have the room for that, though. I don't need repairs. So I guess I won't do that. Don't need to increase my welcome at all. Let's get a port report. Do some stuff at the village green. Yeah, this is the quest I came here for. The uh, Quixotic Squire. To continue the Signalman's quest. Let's take a relaxing stroll around the village. Let's take another relaxing stroll. That was terrible both times at reducing tear. Tennis service at the church. That was also terrible. Watch a cricket match. That's better. Visit the allotments. Uncanny specimen, right. Sip with the eel fishers. That did another 5%. So the eel fishers, again. <laughs> another 5%, I really like the eel fishers. 
How about those allotments? Surface at the church. How's my welcome? Right, it doesn't say here. Attend a service at the church. <laughs> Let's just keep going. I think I have a lot of gossip. So I should be able to increase my welcome pretty easily. Another cricket match. Ooh, down to 20%. Uh, let's back out. Where am I at? With my welcome. Let's just assume I'm low, because I'm pretty sure I am. Should I use my tea? Ah, I've got 32 salon stewed gossip. Let's do that. My welcome is now 5. 7. 8. Yeah, that's good. No! Ah! Not the quest. Sit with the eel fishers. Sit with the eel fishers. <laughs> Watch a cricket match. Now we're at zero. Hell yeah. Visit the allotments. That doesn't reduce my terror, so might as well do it. Uncanny specimen. I think we're good. Quixotic Squire. The settlement search for the Quixotic Squire, patron of the defunct Isambard line, has led you to Port Avon. The Squire's house clings to a lonely sky rock, drifting above the village. But it is in obvious disuse, its roof caved and its windows boarded. The signalman tuts. Typical. You are not so easily deterred. Someone here will know what became of the Squire. Speak to the vicar. He ushers you into the vicarage and offers you tea, which he perhaps hopes will ameliorate his news. I'm sorry, the vicar says. The squire passed away several years ago. The signalman frowns. He were younger than me. Sad circumstances. His wife had contracted an unusual illness. Here, he taps the glass lens of his spectacles. There was no recovery. The squire had an hour loom constructed in his cellar and spent the remainder of his wealth on hours, which he used to draw out the last of their time together. While months passed for us, and for her, years passed for him at her sickbed. When she passed, he had used up what was left of his own time, too. Aw, that's really sad. Sip your tea or appropriate a biscuit or tut sympathetically. Mm. Ah. Mm, so sipping the tea is like sort of the tiniest bit of privacy? Uh, I'm going to touch sympathetically. In the mouth of a Briton, a tut can be scathing or sympathetic. This one, you hope, is mournful. It says, the world is a terrible place and we do what we must to endure it. The vicar gives you a bolstering smile. The signalman puts his tea down. We're none of us good at letting go, are we, vicar? No, the vicar answers. It's not surprising. After all, is there any question more terrifying than what comes next? You depart. The signalman is wrapped in thought. Arouse him from his gloom. Gonna take Ministry Approved Literature and a moment of inspiration. Since Port Avon, the signalman has been intolerably surly. He has even abandoned work on his signaling book. Perhaps you can find a way to rekindle his spirit. You leave a slim set of approved signaling manuals, stamped by the Ministry of Public Decency, on the galley table. Discovering them, the signalman flicks sulkily through. First he tuts, then he snorts, then scoffs. Look at this. They've classified all scorn flukes, spasms as displays of bravado. And here, they've not distinguished between the red chevron flags of Port Prosper and those at Lustrum. That'll get someone killed. Oh no. If only there was a better resource to educate young signalers. He fumes. I have to do bloody everything, don't I? Fine. Where's my pen? He storms to his cabin. A moment later, he storms out again. I've been away too long. I better check on the signal boxes. 
No one will have done that, neither. He's back. <laughs> um. Oh, that's what you mean by the signal boxes. Right, the signal boxes all around the reach. Okay, well, we're in the area, so perfect. Um, are the signal boxes noted on the map? Yeah, the Trader's Wood is one of them. Uh, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe one of these names corresponds to them? I think that uh, the signal boxes are marked on the map, or at least this one is. Cuddle's Gome, I believe, is one of the four ones that they wanted. I think. Yeah. Deposit the signalman at the spidered signal box. He steps from your engine's footplate onto the signal box's porch. I'm not an admirer of spiders, if I'm frank. Anyway, I shan't be long. Cup of tea. He brushes away the worst of the cobwebs and removes several spiders using a jam jar he keeps in a drawer for this exact purpose. This'll be the death of me, he mutters. He brews you a cup of tea in a battered old kettle on a battered old stove. Then he tips it away and brews you another one that doesn't have boiled spiders in it. <laughs> Examining the Skyfarer's cash and the accompanying ledger, he tuts. Someone's taking out without giving back. Stupid. Sooner or later, the burrower will get their scent. Anyway, finished your tea? You return to your locomotive. One out of four done. Let's read the ledger. Two sky stories. Just went back to New Winchester, put stuff in the bank, and repaired my hole. All that normal stuff, and I noticed something that I'd forgotten. So, you know the ambition, the stars are dying, and now I have to help a bunch of these, uh, a bunch of our, our friends? Well, it turns out I can actually complete one of those quests, or at least progress it. The Bathysphere? I can deliver it to the Baroness. It's been constructed to her precise specifications. I forgot I had that thing made. I think I had it made at uh, the Royal Society, right? Yeah, let's do that. She examines it critically and minutely, checking every bolt, panel, and plate. It's good work, she announces, eventually. Just as well, I suppose. Is it your imagination, or has she paled? Would she tell you what the bathysphere is for? My investigation suggests that the remains of the Green Regent, that's the Reach's son, are in Old Tom's Well. We're going to have to go down there. She brushes at her skirts. It's quite a journey, of course. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. <laughs> We're going... Oh my god, I cannot wait to fucking do that. That sounds so cool. We're not just going into Old Tom's Well, but, like, we're going down to the bottom of Old Tom's Well. The sun down there. Ooh. I'm dropping everything else. We're doing that now. Um. How do I do that? Wait, why can't I do that? You're already carrying one of the captains. No! Shit. Oh, am I carrying the one that needs to go to the Blue Kingdom? Yeah, I have the Didact aboard, and they want to go to the Roll of Ash. Or consult the Roll of Ash at the Forge of Souls in the Blue Kingdom. Shit. I don't want to go there yet. Hmm. But then again... The entrance to the Blue Kingdom is right there. Well, I guess we're going to the Blue Kingdom, aren't we? Well, here's the relay. So, I have no idea what to expect. I switched out all my um, hidden compartment stuff for all the other things. They give me more armor and quarters and hold space and whatnot. I have basically one of everything that I think I might need to use. All these things, who knows? And then a crap ton of fuel and supplies. Recruited as many people as I could from New Winchester. It took me from 10 to 16. Full hull. 
111 hit points. Uh, yeah, let's go to the Blue Kingdom. I don't know if I've showed this in a while, but the Blue Kingdom seems to be tiny. So this is the Reach. This is Eletheria, the same size. And then that's the Blue Kingdom. Seems to be very, very small. I'm also very, very scared. It's the first place that we're going to visit that supposedly has a living sun. I imagine it's going to look very different from all this. All this gloom. And I still don't know where I... Or not where I got the transit permit. I think I bought that last time I checked this place out. But I still don't know when exactly this place got repaired. But it was a while ago. Unbeknownst to me. Travel to the Blue Kingdom, first class. These artifacts might have originated in the Blue Kingdom. As part of its Concord with London, the Relay's officials are obliged to accept them for passage into the Kingdom. The official will not touch the artifact himself. Horrible thing. He presses a button. An underling scurries in to take it away in a brass box. The Relay machinery grinds and stirs. The steam vents. The sigils of the edifice burn with sullen fire. Force like a great hand seizes your engine. The passage is less pleasant than you'd hoped. A crewman swears he saw something vast stirring in the sky's deeps and raves about a many-eyed burrower to any who will listen. Oh, the burrower's definitely real. All right. All right. Anyone else scared? The Reach Transit Relay... something something? What does that say? The, something from the light of the sun. The gate away from the light of the sun, I think is what it said. This already looks quite different, but it's not exactly blue skies or super bright right here. But it definitely has a very different feel. Look at all these cement structures. Or stone, maybe. I'm not sure. The navigator looks at the House of Days. Shades come here to have their proper status acknowledged. He looks thoughtful. Right there. Sky Barnet. Now this isn't the hub, right? Wouldn't the hub be in the center? Probably. I'm not sure what the hub is called in the Blue Kingdom. If it has a bank, then it's the hub. Oh, yeah, the hub is just right there. It has a bank. Well, that makes me really curious. What's in the center? Could it be the sun? The living sun? Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we have a lot to do here at Sky Barn and lots of quests that have built up. Need to check out all the things that they sell for my ship, see if they have any new ships that I might want to get, do they? Uh, no, looks like those are all the same ships we've seen before. But yeah, there's going to be like all sorts of equipment. Probably a lot of tier four. Yep. A lot to do and it's going to be really exciting. <laughs>